afternoon to everyone. I, Dr. Anuradha Patil, pleased to welcome everyone present here to the validity program of a 7th National Conference. Yesterday, day one of our conference, we were very fortunate to have well-known and eminent personalities, Dr. Anil Subbarao as our chief guest and Mr. Mahindra Yadav as guest of honor and Sri Bhaijan Kazi, sir, trustee of PCET campus. Today, day two, we have witnessed research contributions by research scholars, faculty members, and management students from different places of India. The paper presentations were judged by very competent and a panel of juries, respected Dr. Varsha Gurdasar Ma'am and Dr. T.D. Ravata Ma'am. Thank you, Ma'am, for expert remarks and guidance. Today, we have a very eminent personality as a chief guest for a validity function. Dr. Kishore Shankar Nikam. Sir's main objective in life is to spread the education to all poor, weaker and backward sections of India. Sir possesses more than 17 years of experience in UG and PG programs in teaching and research. Sir has a very strong academic background like he possesses BCom and MCom from University of Pune, NET from UGC, GDCA from Cooperative Board Pune, DTL from University of Pune, CA Inter and CA Final Grade 2 ICAI Delhi, DBA from ICFAI University of Hyderabad, PGDVM from University of Pune, ADM ICFAI from University of Hyderabad, PhD from University of Pune, MBA from ICFAI University of Hyderabad, MA Economics and DLL and Labor Laws from SPPU. At present, Sir is Head of Department of Commerce at Dr. D.Y. Patil Arts, Commerce and Science College in Pri Pune. He has held eminent positions like Member, Board of Studies, Maharashtra Academy of Engineering Pune, and he served as Principal of Dr. D.Y. Patil Arts, Commerce and Science College, Akuti from 2015 to 2016. Sir has attended N number of refresher calls from Academic Staff College, Pune University. He has authored 29 textbooks in Accountancy, Financial Management, Commerce, IB, Economics, Research Methodology and Management and QRM process. Sir has delivered expert lectures as a resource person in more than 23 education institutes in and around Maharashtra. He has vast contribution in the field of research as well, he has published more than 90 research papers at national and international conference and journals. Sir has attended more than 21 seminars and conferences at national and international level. He has organized many FDPs, seminars and conferences. He is recognized PhD research guide at Savitri Bhai Pule, Pule University for Commerce, Banking and Finance and Management, Financial Management subjects. He is recognized as a PG teacher of Savitri Bhai Pule Pune University in the subject of banking and finance from, from the year 2013. He has worked as a guide for Savitri Bhai Pule Pune University under MCOM course and curricular research guidance extended to 236 students. He is into various extracurricular and co-curricular activities, administrative and academic activities. He also has keen interest in sports. He has played volleyball matches at state level competition. He has special interest in social work and health sector. Every year, Sir organizes free medical and dental checkups and treatment camps, rice plantation programs, free distribution of masks and fruits to patients, and blood donation camps and many such activities for the relief of poor people in slums as well as people from remote areas. I would like to mention, Sir has a website by his name called as kishornikam.in for students to refer for education purposes. He has many awards to his credit, to name some are recipient of national award as a best teacher from Charles Sangatna and at the hands of Honorable Yura Chhatrapati Sambhaji Raje Hosle in May 2017. He is recipient of best teacher award given by Lions Club International Akodi, Pune. The recipient of Best Teacher Award given by Lakshmi Foundation Pune in 2008. He has achieved state level 3 Ratna Award delivered by Mahatma Pune Mahamandal in Pune University in 2009. 
He is recipient of state level Shiv Chhatrapati Award given by Bahujan Mahasangh in March, in March 2011. And the list goes on. Sir possess such a remarkable and inspiring journey of success and achievements. I request Dr. Daniel Pinker, sir, to kindly felicitate our chief guest, Dr. Kishore Nicham, sir. Conference 
which all of you have already attended. You have listened to the eminent people, speakers in last two days. A very good topic that managing resources through creativity and innovation and how to increase employment in a 21st century. First of all, I would like to congratulate your institution, organizers, director for selecting such a very good topic. Always your institution has a very, very keen and productive topic. So that I really like. I speak at many conferences, various lectures I have delivered up to this point of time. But 50% time I need not prepare. But whenever I have to come to SP party, I have to prepare. <laughs> I have to devote my 2-3 hours, 4 hours at day. Really. So very good topic it was. And I know what you have listened, I have taken the feedback. That what were the contents of lectures in last two days. So I have decided to speak only on creativity and innovations done on global level by different companies in different sectors. I will talk about 8 to 10 companies only and you have to take out of it some lessons. Now resources inculcates 5 AMs that all of you know. Main machine materials, money and management. All of us have studied it very well. How companies become successful in managing resources like main and management. That is very important rather than money, machine and other third aim. <coughs> many institutions after getting many corporates, after getting great success, they forget the resources who have laid that corporates on global level. Those who have played a major role in uh, bringing up that particular corporate to the point of view of their turnovers, profitability and brand images. There are a number of examples we are going to talk about. I will give you 8 to 10 examples and you will have to find out what is the lesson of creativity and innovation in that. First, my first example is SpaceX. You know SpaceX, SpaceX company is one of the largest to the point of view of turnover, I am saying, largest to the point of view of this turnover industry in aeronautical sector, space sector. SpaceX has invented reusable rockets. What rockets NASA was inventing and sending on the planet that were not reusable. Once it was coming back, back they were selling it into scrap. SpaceX had become successful in innovating the idea, they have reduced the cost of production 65%, up to 65% cost is reduced and same rocket they are reusing for resending to another planet or uh, something. Okay, so this is what an innovation, how companies are increasing their profits by particularly conducting research related to their basic product base. That is what needed. I must tell you, Delhi to Tokyo presently the journey takes 6 hours and SpaceX has conducted 16 trials of rocket carrying passengers from Delhi to Tokyo in 25 minutes. Can you imagine? Delhi to Tokyo journey of 6 hours has come down to 25 minutes and they had completed 16 trials very soon the launching will be there. This is innovation. This is what expected from the large scale corporates, from the employees, HR resources, everyone. All people who are involved in the development of that particular industry, they need to be focused, they need to be improved, divided, and that is what continuous journey of corporates. Second example I give Reliance Forging. You know, Airtel, Idea, Vodafone, all these companies are using optical fibers on rental basis. Their companies are being rent to two American companies. What are that American companies? First is AT&T and second is Verizon. Major share of your database, what you are using, you are paying with your prepaid or postpaid cards to Airtel or AT&T, Airtel or Vodafone. 
or idea major portion is going for the rent of optical fibers to Verizon or AT&T. AT&T was having collaboration with Birla, Birla AT&T. That on it became idea. I think it, it was in 1997 that collaboration was done when telecommunication sector was uh, launched in India. That was the right time that Birla AT&T came into scene. But now AT&T is playing major role in providing optical fibers. Okay. Now, invention, innovation is what here? Reliance 4G's innovation is what? Reliance 4G had become successful in launching underground as well as below ocean 18,000 kilometers optical fibers of its own. <coughs> they did not pay a single penny for the rent for using optical fibers. And this has been done by Jio. Many people ask questions, how Jio can provide? such a database, 1 GB, 2 GB, 10 GB per day and in such a minimum cost because it, it don't have a rent cost. See, Airtel Idea, all these companies are transmitting their calls through wires. Reliance 4G has introduced Volt. What is Volt? Voice over long term evaluation voice over long term evaluation you would, you would be using mobiles VOAT is the symbol you could face there when you start your uh, internet so voice over technology is being used by Jio in which data packets are used your call is not transferred through wires but rather call is transferred through da data packets directly great innovation and that is what Within one night, one day, Jio has grabbed the entire market of Indian telecommunication sector. It has right around the tallest horse than that of Airtel or Idea or Vodafone. That is what the magic of innovation. What you are doing, how you are implementing that really matters. Thirdly, I would like to tell you about Amagi Advertisers. What is Amagi Advertisers? It's a corporate, Indian based corporate. You know, before uh, some months or years, you can say, whatever channels you are facing, like India TV, Ashtar, or any movie channel, or any, any one channel, if advertisement is uh, placed on your screen of television, same advertisement was broadcasted throughout India. Amagi advertisers has become successful to fit one unit in satellite itself which is controlling the broadcast. Simultaneously, what ad is going on in Maharashtra may be different in Haryana, simultaneously. In UP, some different local ad would be there in the simultaneous point of time. And that innovation is done by Amagi advertisers. In a day, it has increased market share. It became a leader, market leader for Indian market. Can you imagine? So, depending upon the base, audience base, the advertisement can be placed at simultaneous point of time on different televisions in different states. Great thing. 50 million, 50 million ad seconds are published up to this point of time. Very successful venture and it is using geo-targeted advertisement technique. This technique is called as geo-targeted advertisement technique which was not there before the, the implementation by Amagi. Or fourth example is MasterCard. You know NFC technology? NFC. NFC means near field communication. Near field communication is what? Friends, all of you are using a rupee debit card, visa card, MasterCard. What is the role of these cards? When we have to buy something, and we have to pay by card, then we can swap it and we can put our PIN number. But when you forget your PIN number, or when you lose your card, then it creates complication. Am I right or not? MasterCard has invented the technology, NFC, near field communication, in which you have to pay by taking your selfie. So payment will be done to that nearby mobile, to whom you have to pay. Your picture will be saved, it will match, 
they have implemented with proper servers, proper technology is there, very successful. So you need not pin number. Okay? Even if you lose loses your card, very small risk would be there on your part as a user. So this is the innovation, creativity. People are creating. Now if you see uh, some news was there that Indian uh, government is boosting rupee debit card. Yeah, it's true up to some extent, we shall not deny. But the technology matters. Technology matters for the customers. <laughs> and MasterCard has really become successful if you see the speed of Visa or uh, rupee debit card. <coughs> Next is Samsung. I will talk about Samsung uh, handset manufacturing company. Or I would have heard lot many examples about Samsung. Who was the global leader before Samsung? Nokia. All of you know Nokia was the global leader till 2008-9. Why Nokia built? Tell me one word. Android. Android is the answer. Why Nokia built? Nokia denied to accept Android, which was kept free of cost by Google. Do you know this? Google declared that anybody can come, any telecommunication or handset manufacturing company and they can use our Android free of cost in launching phase. Samsung grabbed the opportunity. Okay, but Samsung was not still, even after accepting an Android, they invented dual SIM. Samsung was the first company which implemented dual SIM. In last month, Samsung implemented four quad camera mobile phone. What is the name of that mobile phone? A9, A9, four cameras are there particularly. So this is innovation. It is happening. Okay, so one, once upon a time, global leader, Nokia is struggling today. Samsung has taken a very far distance from Nokia. Now it is very difficult on the part of Nokia to compete with Samsung. So it doesn't mean that what is the position of a particular corporate today it will be there. No guarantee is there. Guarantee can be given only on the basis of creativity and innovation. Either you continuously conduct research in your product base, continuously invent or innovate. Okay? These are the things. Vakta chahe achcha hoya pura. Magar badal ta zarur hai. This is the thing. Time always changes. Time is like a water in the river. Once it flows from one point, it never comes back. It, it takes different terms, terms always. Same principle is there for corporates also. They have to struggle even if they are successful. And managing resources. We are talking about management of resources, how companies are failed and how companies are become, becoming successful. And give example of Indigo Airlines. Indigo is the India's most cheapest low cost airline. Do you believe this? Yes. Why Indigo can provide cheapest airfares? Reason is productivity. Management of resources. Indigo is taking 207 fleets. Okay? And number of employees are 14,600. Listen carefully. 207 fleets. 14,600 employees. Air India is taking 162 plates. Number of employees 20,950. Well, less plates? Almost 1.5 times employees. Can you imagine? Why it is happening? Management of resources. So Indigo is successful in managing their HR, human resources, very powerfully. But this is also the case that they are tired and they are given continuous duties. But there are even advantages also at the simultaneous point of time. What, what I wanted to say. If you are a big company, you shall be big to the point of your profits, turnover, and very important management of resources. Then you remain big. Somebody has said, many reach at the top, very few manage to stay there. Top is always imbalanced. When you have to stay on the top, you have to continuously excel. If you stop excellence, your growth will be stopped and you will not be on the top position. You cannot expect the top position. 
Then I will tell you about Tata Consultancy Services. Very good example of management of human resources. Not only mains and machines. If you will see the software sector, not many companies like Infosys, Wipro, Cognizant, Capgemini, Tata Consultancy Services. These are competitors in Indian markets at least I will say. In US and UK markets there may be many big industries again. But here, what is happening you can see, if you will compare the period before 15 years, you will find out the difference between the turnovers or profitability of TCS and Infosys. Infosys had lost many opportunities you can say or uh, productivity due to the inefficient management of resources. This is my own opinion. Friends, Tata Consultancy has changed only three CEOs in its lifetime. On the contrary, Infosys has this number 7 to 8. The CEO of Infosys, can you name Mr. Vishal Sikka? He resigned only for the reason of discrimination on salary. Is that clear? These are important worth noting points. Whatever may, may be the big person or small, salary is an important part for every corporate, every institution. Everybody works for salary, no doubt. Primary target is salary, secondary target is excellence. So many corporates fail to take care of these human resource aspects. And then that growth becomes hampered in the uh, coming times. <coughs> Strong leadership is required. Tata Consultancy at its inception had given code of conduct of employees as well as key managerial personnel. Right from salary to every rule and regulation for the internal management. It was predefined by TCS as compared to other companies, what I am talking about, Infosys and Cognizant. This is what the reason why TCS is at the top. The culture of Tata, if you see, Tremendous importance is given to the human resources, then machines and then materials, and then management. Very simple management style is there with Tata Group. Okay? Then I'll talk about Baijus. Did you hear about Baijus? What is Baijus? Online app. It is simple educational app. Baiju. Friends. But do you know the turn on in today's date, one simple. Now every day, hundreds of apps are launched on internet. Hundreds of advertisers are coming to you. So please download this app. You are getting messages on social networking. We don't uh, download each and every app. When our mobile starts hanging, we delete some apps. <laughs> so they are of no use for us. But Baiju is the largest share. Largest market share is with Baiju's. What is the market share, you know? Its last year's property is 260 crores. It is an Indian startup. One Indian person has launched this. All online lectures, educational materials, you are getting online. 260 crores profit. This is what the miracle of innovation and invention. When you are thinking out of box, that thing lets you at different direction. Today morning, I, I got one video, it was about bicycle. One German student has launched the bicycle. Some people amongst you would have been seen it. One bicycle is there and uh, it has a folding technology. It can be folded or it can be expanded. If you have to put some materials, you can uh, make a good cache between these two tires. Okay? So you can keep your materials and you can ride. And even it is supported by uh, electrical battery. So if you have to cover long distance, then also you can use like two wheeler or four wheeler, four wheeler. Now such kind of products, if you will see, now that is uh, that would have been patented up to this point of time. I don't know exactly the name of the student, but environmental problems like air pollution, if you will see, they are damaging to the globe to the tremendous extent. And such kind of inventions are going to save the entire world 
for student of production engineering has designed that bicycle and very successfully launched.